I said, I don't know. I just know some guy that's supposed to be helping with an ID or something. So I, I had no expectation no, he'd be a no. younger Korean. Alakablam! I don't understand the physics of this. I tried to I said, look, watch this. I'm a Texas number. I'm going to get a dick pic or something. I texted. Oh, yeah, because that's usually like, how it works. Yeah, because no, normally, you know, it's some kind of business like that or whatever. And I'm just like, I got it from Lou. So I'm thinking, what number did he just get? Lou's you know a what? funny guy, So, man. yeah, you know what I'm thinking? Like, he's pranking me with some kind of How well do you know Lou? Not very. Not at all. I just uh, go off what I heard him saying and everything. So I'm looking like, man, I'm probably going to get some kind of sex tape number or something. <laughs> but regardless right, of expectation, so, he tried it. And yeah, here we are. I just like, God, please don't do this to me. <laughs> I have a Texas number. I'm thinking. I literally look away from the phone doing this. He's looking at me. He's, he's aiming his head at me. Like, why? What am I supposed? That's to what do? you were doing when you actually texted well, me. Well, I texted you. I looked at her. I said, "You may not want to look." So I hide behind my my torso. I look at her. I go, "Because people send dick pics." No, literally, that's how I, some things are. I didn't realize then, like politicians do that stuff. Yeah, I've never done. A that. A lot of people do that. Why do you send pic? I don't get it we either. Send, we I mean, don't send dick. Pics. Aside from the fact that I'm just a regular average penis, I have nothing to be proud about. But like, why would you send a picture of your penis? It's a complete excuse to be rated I, your shit. I've got a very aesthetically good-looking penis, though. I hear that a lot. So. Whoa, time to change. <laughs> All right, we're all talking about penises here, okay? Look, you're a Korean average. That's great. I'm American average. No, you're. Above it's because I'm circumcised. Average. I don't got a freaking earthworm. Neither do I. I'm Ruby. Stop hurting yourself. I'm not. I don't know what my penis looks like. I, yes, you do. No, I don't. You know better yes, than I do. I guarantee do. you. How do you not know what your penis looks like? Because I, well, I can't see it. It's not my fault. How do you not? How do you not know? How can you not see? You're not fat. Because you're so busy. Groovy. Okay. Dude, you ass. fat people can't see their penis. I'm fat. I used you are to be, not fat. I used to be so fat. I'm I fat see in my the toes. heart. No, <laughs> I, I'm not. Okay, not to be going too much information, but when I was bigger, as I slimmed down, I gained size. If that says anything. Yes, that's And normal. that's just physical. And again. But no, I have never been the one to bash myself or let anyone bash me for it. Because guess what? I don't take any of that in account. I've never said anything. No one's ever seen it. Because I don't do the whole pick about. things. But I'm not sure why we got on this conversation. Because you were talking right? about when you first texted me. Okay, now let's get back to that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. delete everything we just said. All right? Because I don't It's all want, going on. Yeah. It's all, all right. going on. <laughs> it's all going on. No, what? Wait, but Hillary Clinton hit me up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Wait, you're she's really, not funny. You know what? Really you know what? Yeah, let her. Let no. her hit you up. She is, she is the spirit of Jezebel. She's the one that brought it all. She so, okay, all right, off politics years. now. Um, So, now it's my turn to ask. What did oh, you get out of the sermon today? I hate politicians. Anyway. What? Uh, what did you get? Sermon? Yeah, what did you get? There were so many. I recorded so many things. I, I I was trying to think. I can't think right off the top of my head right now. I love you, dude. I see this little sheep going bad, bad, bad. I'm by the fence line. And there's a wolf dressed like a sheep. And you look at him and think, it's cool. And he's about to gobble you up. Maybe I can piggyback off of one of y'all's. Uh, what was your takeaway? What was your favorite part? Because I had a lot of favorite parts. I recorded like four or five different one, two minute segments. I'm going to be real. I accidentally started falling asleep in the middle of church. And I you fell asleep? Back. I was falling asleep. Yeah, yeah I, I had to I keep kept, tapping her. I was like, hey. I don't know why. Huh? I don't sleepy? know why. No, I actually had really good, really great sleep last night. We both did. We slept until about five something. Oh man, yeah, that's We've been awesome. up since like five this morning, and that's like our normal sleep schedule. Ow. Do you guys pray? But, do you guys pray before the sermon, like before worship? Like I normally, I come. I don't. I'll say I pray. I say I meditate I really on it. it. I, I really recommend just like like actually setting aside some time to go into prayer and ask the Holy Spirit to prepare your heart. Because when you ask the Holy Spirit to prepare your heart so that you can receive the message that, <coughs> that Pastor Jody is going to be speaking, mm -hmm. I promise you, you will hear a completely different message. When I was at Bethany Church, it's a Korean church in Marietta, okay? When I first arrived here in Rome, I, I refused to go to a... Uh, American church? Yeah. Hmm. I refused to go to an American church because of all of my experiences in the past. Hmm. I've been to American churches a lot and every single time it was always the same. Oh, I told him about the mega church in Wiley. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't go to a mega church. No, no. Yeah, no. you don't, please don't it ever go to, to a mega church. It used to be called First Baptist of Wiley 
They changed it to the cross. They changed the name. See, I grew up in that church. When I was a kid, I had cheerleading there. So I loved the church and I loved the people there that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. But years passed and I went there again one day with a friend of mine and her mother. I find out that over the time that I haven't been there, there's a new pastor and he's driving up on stage on a motorcycle and then they have a rock concert. <laughs> with flashing lights and loud noises galore and then they have people going around like asking for donations and people drop five ten twenty fifty bucks in the thing they're funding a mega church and they know it but they're doing it because it's a concert that's all it is it, it's not you know praising god or worshiping he ride up on stage it's, in a motorcycle he rode up on stage no no let me let me hold on let me well, be on more the actual specific. stage it was an, it was one of those mo it was a moped it was a red moped okay so it wasn't like an engine but it was loud and he had a he had a motorcycle helmet on and everything or you know he had a helmet on so he gets off he's got a leather jacket on he's got freaking leather boots on he gets off the moped he takes off the helmet he grabs a microphone and then they start jamming out Wait, like so some kind of rock concert intro so you're talking about like a one reminds me of my cousin-in-law <laughs> Everything is a performance, a concert for him. He's a yep. rock star. I mean, he's a good guitarist, or he was good. Everything's a performance for him. That's all. I don't know. I think I agree with you, but I think I have a different, I guess, way I tell them. Mm -hmm. I don't say it's a prayer just because I don't classify it as the way I do and eventually pray. But I do classify it as, like, I guess, talking to him in a way. So when I'm meditating, I go into my meditation, and I'm thinking of to get my mindset, to get my heart right, like you said. But I'm also cooling my thoughts of everything else in the world to get them gone. So I guess in a way, I'm yes, I'm going into prayer, but I'm also doing a meditation, kind of like a dual thing. Yeah, so what I'm saying is detach yourself from all of the, the physical and the earthly. Right. Okay, everything that you're describing has to do with earthly matters let me describe that a little bit better okay that sounds really bad huh mm. when you're meditating and you're clearing your mind you're clearing your mind of distractions distractions that are, are all things that you had to face while here on this earth our father is above his words are not our words his mm. thoughts are not our thoughts right so when you are meditating okay this is the very dangerous thing of the new age movement especially the word meditating i meditate all the time i never say i meditate i meditate all the time but i never say i meditate why because i don't want some stupid idiot to get triggered by that word and then that becomes a hot word especially in the new age movement of meditating and reaching enlightenment and achieving my higher self oh i don't know. and you, you see especially dumb white bitches doing this okay yeah dumb stupid soccer mom white bitches doing that shit oh i i've just gone through so much experiences especially during covid and this whole experience with depression and anxiety and oh i've just achieved my higher self and i'm just so one with myself but that's not through you exactly all right so that's why i'm saying the whole thing of meditating can you please open my water i'm sorry <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say is this. Men are just as guilty as those dumb white bitches, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't know that. You're doing a lot of yammering, but unbeknownst to you, you're speaking your final words. I'm a dumb white bitch. You don't need to brandish that weapon. It's I'm not going to hurt you. Well, sounds to me like we got what a bit of a... What do you want me to watch? Uh, smart ass on our hands all right mm -hmm. it's nothing about race it's just this just so happens like and there's a lot of asian like stupid asian women there's a lot of black people that hold their glocks wrong hey, i got it i got it i got it freeze if i pop your ass pop really oh, i would listen to him this man's a dangerous felon it's I, mostly it seems to be mostly women that, that just, do this it's just all it, no the thing is is he, here's the problem they've got a point all right I've had it up to here. Alakablam! I don't understand the physics of this. That's the problem. The women? The women have a point. Dang it. When Jordan Peterson was describing and summarizing the whole global climate of how everything has become the way that it is, it's because every narrative pushes the tyrant father, and then you have the benevolent mother. And it seems to me that that's the dynamic that's being played out in our society right now. Tyrannical father with no appreciation for the benevolent father and benevolent mother with no appreciation whatsoever for the tyrannical mother. The benevolent mother that comes and softens the heart of the tyrant father. 
And that's true. When you look at Abraham and Sarah, do you want to know that the whole reason why Sarah was given credit was because Sarah called Abraham Lord? If he were telling the truth, he wouldn't have told us. Unless, of course, he knew you wouldn't believe the truth, even if he told us. Lord is not the same Lord as in Jesus is Lord. Lord means master. Yes, my Lord. Oh, 